Multidynamics is a powerful multiband dynamics processor useful for mastering, track processing, sound design, and noise reduction. It provides up to six bands with independent compression or expansion and gating per band. Multiband dynamics processing combines the techniques of equalization and single band dynamics processing. It can do much more than the simple EQ or a single band dynamics processor. Let's start by looking at the multiband display. At the top of the display, the current dynamic equalization response is plotted with a bright green line. The low and high gains can be manipulated by dragging the green and blue triangles up and down. The green triangle represents the low gain. Low gain is the gain applied to the signal when the signal is below the threshold. The blue triangle represents the high gain. High gain is the gain applied when the input signal is above the threshold. If the arrows are pointing toward each other, the band is compressing. If the arrows are pointing away from each other, the band is expanding. The shaded green region shows the range of possible dynamic equalization. Click the plus button to add a band. Click the minus button to delete the current band. The band edges can be moved by clicking and dragging a line. An entire band can be moved by clicking and dragging in the center area. Input levels per band are shown below the dynamic EQ response. The threshold levels per band are shown with an orange line. The orange ball can be dragged up and down to change the threshold level. The active band's parameters can also be edited using the controls below the band display. The six knobs allow the user to change the parameters for the currently selected band. These knob parameters are low gain, threshold, high gain, ratio, attack time and release time. Below the band parameter knobs are wheel controls that permit changing the band parameters for all bands simultaneously. Dragging a wheel up or down increases or decreases the parameter in all bands or keeping the relative differences between bands. Press the Learn button to set the band thresholds automatically based on peak levels in each band. The thresholds update continuously while Learn is depressed. Hold Shift to learn RMS levels. Multidynamics allows each band to be driven by an internal or external sidechain. The internal sidechain is the default setting, with the processor being triggered by the audio frequencies in the current band. Alternatively, the entire audio frequency range can be used as a trigger in the wide mode, or the trigger frequencies can be filtered through a separate sidechain EQ. An external sidechain can be used as a trigger, again using either the audio frequencies in just the current band, the entire frequency range of the external sidechain or an EQ filtered range. Whenever either of the EQ filter modes is chosen, click the sidechain EQ button to see the sidechain EQ response. The sidechain monitor option lets you hear the band's current sidechain signal. That's useful for dialing in a particular trigger sound. Multidynamics also has a real-time spectrum display, which displays the current sidechain audio, either internal or external, and is useful for visualizing your signal. We hope this has been a good introduction to Multidynamics 7. We've only scratched the surface of what this plugin can do. Please download a fully functioning 30-day demo at wavearts.com.